Be afraid. I am here to take you to a good life. A life that you were born to. Bell tells the story of Dido Elizabeth Bell, the illegitimate mixed-race daughter of a Royal Navy Admiral, who was raised by her father's aristocratic uncle. Ensure that she is in receipt of all that is due to her as a child of mine. Do you have in mind my position? That is simply impossible. What is right can never be impossible. Based on true events, it shows Bell's struggle with the social traditions of the time. Her lineage allows her certain privileges, but the colour of her skin prevents her from fully entering English upper-class society. Why do you not dine with your family ever? Because that is not correct. The special screening of the movie at the United Nations was followed by a discussion with the film's director, Amara Sante, and the actress who plays Bell, Gugu Mbatha Raw. You suddenly realise that the message of the film can, can reach um, such a significant audience and, and the themes of the film are as contemporary as ever, you know, even though it is a period drama. Um, and the timing of it, you know, remembering uh, slavery at the moment, um, it's just a huge honour to be able to be a part of it and celebrate. The theme of racism is central to the film. Amma says her family faced similar problems with racism as she was growing up in England. My parents yeah, came from West Africa, from Ghana in, in the late 50s. Um, and we, at the time I was growing up, were literally one of only two black families living on the street in South London where I grew up. Um, and it was a tough time. The film hasn't yet been screened in any African countries, but Amma says there's already a lot of interest. Of course, knowing that two African women are involved with the movie, um, you know they has a greater, you know they have a greater focus on on the movie because of that. So for me, I'm excited to see how they will respond and react to the movie when they do finally see it. With the International Day of Remembrance and the screening of this film, the United Nations is honouring those who suffered and died in one of history's darkest chapters. But it also hopes to raise awareness of the racism and prejudices which still exist today. Nick Harper, CCTV, at the United Nations in New York.